So the grapes that we're looking at right now in the vineyard are ripening. We're in the middle of harvest and obviously they're still hanging on the vines. Uh, what are your intentions for these grapes? What are these grapes that we're looking at right now? So these are the Cabernet Franc grapes. So they're about a week away from being ripe enough to pick. And that comes with measuring the sugar, measuring the acidity, but ultimately the final call is I'll walk through the vineyard and pull off grapes and just taste the skins. So we pick on what's called skin ripeness rather than just sugar. This is something that you learn from the old guys in France and they just look at when those skins are perfectly ripe. And this wine, this Cabernet Franc is done fermented on the stem, so it is what you would call a whole cluster wine. And how long do you leave the skins so on these? This was on the skins for about 44 days. Oh, wow. The typical is 24 days, 20 So that's why you get that beautiful, rich color. Exactly. People don't often think Ontario when they think of wine in the world. They think of France or Australia or California. I think that if you put this Cabernet Franc and you hit it, and you put it next to an old world wine, I don't know if everybody would think that this is an Ontario wine. Yeah. In your logo, you have a bee, and everywhere on your barrels, everywhere I see bees, I see one on your chest yeah. right here. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the bees and the history of the bees on this property and what you're doing with these bees. Rosewood is a family-run business. It's uh, in total, we have about three generations worth of beekeeping knowledge. Hmm. So William, our general manager, his grandfather, uh, was a beekeeper in the Ukraine and when he came to Canada he'd always have a dream of starting a meadery but at the time back then it was almost prohibitive for him to be able to start that um, that operation. Eugene Roman, our founder, his son had trained him as a beekeeper and it was always a huge passion of his to start a winery and then also incorporate uh, apiculture and making mead here in Niagara. So he's passed that information that he got from his father down to William. And now William is our beekeeper and bee master. So it is a huge part of what we do is pouring our honey, selling our honey here, and then also taking that honey and fermenting it into mead. So tell me a little bit about this Sauvignon Blanc and what makes it special. When I first came back to Canada from California, I had no real intentions about making Sauvignon Blanc. But then understanding the geographical similarities to one of my favorite wine regions in the world, being Loire Valley, and knowing the complexities uh, that Sauvignon Blanc can offer from Sancerre, it really spurred me to want to understand how to make this wine here in Niagara. Using that style, new technology with old world traditions, we ferment the Sauvignon Blanc in a very oxidative way. So that means we're not adding sulfur to the juice. We're allowing the wild yeast to ferment the juice in very old oak barrels. And then it ages in the barrel for about 18 months. This is different from most of the New World style of Sauvignon Blanc, which is fermented in stainless steel with selected yeast and at colder temperatures. So it sounds like a lot of what you do here at Rosewood is by touch, it's by feel, it's by instinct. These wines are right in very much way without getting too esoteric about it. They're much bigger than us. Um, they outlive us in many cases. And so every year tells a story in Niagara, and if I can just be kind of like a vector that that goes through, then that's not a waste of life in my opinion. Well, if this is the story that I'm consuming, I think you're an excellent storyteller, and uh, congratulations for doing such a great job and not impacting our environment, taking care of the bees, babying our beautiful grapes on the, along the Beamsville bench, and, uh, and giving uh, Ontario a fantastic reputation here and around the world. It was my pleasure to taste the beautiful wines of Rosewood Winery along the Beamsville bench. A fantastic region to come for picnics, to come for any kind of social gathering and taste some very interesting, very delicious wines from the region. I hope to see you here soon. Cheers.